Coach, thank you. Just a stone's throw from Historic Monument Circle in downtown Indianapolis. We are at the beautiful Lucas Oil Stadium. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. With Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. A carry for Devontae Freeman, who missed most of last season. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. And Falcons fans everywhere excited that Devontae Freeman is back on the field wearing number 24 in the red and black. Remember, he went down in week two in 2018 with an injury and didn't return. They're hoping to see the form that led him to 1,000-yard seasons in 2015 and 2016. From the 27, Ryan. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Mohamed Sanu is a guy that is often overlooked because he just quietly goes about his business. But how about last season? Had a career high 838 yards on 66 catches, and he can also play Wildcat quarterback for you as well. Ryan leads with Freeman on the draw. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Ryan. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Looking in zone for Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again. Ryan. Man open. That's Calvin Ridley. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 33. Calvin Ridley more than justified his first round selection in 2018. 64 catches as a rookie and found the end zone 10 times. Did a nice job getting open right there and picking up a first down. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Throwing again, Ryan. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. To throw again. Ryan. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. That's sacked by the D.N. Danico Autry. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. And he's going to go down again. The sack by Marcus Hunt. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Chester Rogers deep for Indianapolis.
That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. This is Marlon Mack, third year running back. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Throwing on second and eight, Brissett. Middle of the field to the tight end, Doyle. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. We're set now. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Brissett. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Caught left side by Hilton. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. To throw, Brissett. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rodgers. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 20 yards on both of those plays back-to-back -back there. They are moving now. It's another first down. Brissett going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Here's Brissett. That is caught at the 7-yard line. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So after the penalty, here's second and three. Brissett again. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Again, it's Brissett. Brissett. 
flush to it. And he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A three-yard touchdown run. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes. But oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. As Atlanta comes back out here on offense, CD, I just wanted to ask you about the NFC South. You got the Breeze injury. Nobody knows what's going on with Cam and Carolina. No team is at 2-0, so the Falcons at 1-1, they may be in a pretty good position. They certainly are, and it's one of the more volatile divisions year in and year out in the NFL. How many times have we seen a team go from worst to first? And Tampa Bay's one and one. Mm. So, as you noted, this division now in flux a little bit. Atlanta's got to feel great about that win against Philadelphia. Gets it back on the beam, and they're hoping that they can take control in the NFC South. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Ryan. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there at a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And finding the tight end, Hooper. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. And that will be brought down by the Colts. It was Justin Houston, the native of Statesboro, Georgia, with a sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. On third down, Ryan. It's caught. Jones. 23 yards on the play. He had to figure they'd try and get the ball to Julio early, and they did it right there. And it doesn't take a degree from MIT to know that, so you had to figure, what's up with the defense? You should know that that's coming right away. Ryan in the offense with a first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. This is Freeman on first and 10, and he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Throw on second and six. Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 
Seven yards there and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Ryan. It's caught over the middle. Hooper. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the shotgun, Ryan. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass as they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Brian Sachs, your point up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Colts take the field again here on offense. And earlier, Charles, you and I mentioned their week two win over Tennessee, 19 to 17 on the road there in Nashville. And you talked about Andrew Luck's success against Tennessee. The Colts collectively, though, 14 and two in their last 16 games against the Titans. They have just owned them. And going into the game, all the talk was about Jacoby Brissett. How would he play at quarterback for the Colts? But this game was won by the Colts defense. They had four sacks, held the Titans to one of 10 on third downs, and came up with a huge fourth and two stand with 15 seconds on the clock. You talk about taking confidence forward as an entire football team. Indianapolis is able to do that. Remember, Adam Vinatieri struggled kicking the ball in that game, too. Yeah, it sounds like he was unsure about continuing his NFL career, but he will stay. And Frank Reich says, we got full confidence in our kicker. To throw again on second down, Brissett, pass incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Brissett. Throw left side complete. It's Hines. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something. 
on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock down and go to the locker room. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Final play of the half. It's Ryan. Yeah, he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Now we'll carry from back. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and they're going to have a third down. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Ryan. Connects with Sanu right side. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Ryan. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle 
looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, throw right side, caught by Ridley. It's a first down on a gain of 10. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Ryan in the offense with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really Get nice pickup. The left side completion to Jones. And they'll get this down to the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. They'll run here with Freeman. And he is gonna be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Second down and goal. Ryan, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Ryan. Stocker's got it. Complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The kick by Bryant is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. 
It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. First down, Brissett. This goes out right to Doyle. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Brissett. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Third and short yardage, Brissett, and that is incomplete. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. Give them 11 yards that time on the return, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeout? Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Brissett to throw on first. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Here's Brissett. And this is caught at the eight. 12 yards there on a first Here down. Here we go. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. So that'll back them up five. That false start knocks them back behind the 10 now as they'll try again, first and goal. From the gun, here's Brissett. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Here's Bissett. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. 
You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Looking to run with Mack. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. No gain on the play there, and they're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So it's third and goal, and now the question, can this Falcon defense stand tall once more? To throw, Brissett. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Tyler Davison hauling it off the edge to sack him. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Falcons now. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here's Ryan to throw. Incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we would really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. The Falcons on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. He's got Sanu. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Ryan to Sanu, good for an Atlanta first down. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Ryan to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Jones. A gain of six there on first. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. Clock running, and the Falcons moving with a sense of urgency. Now Ryan. Looking middle. And it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. 
The Falcons on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. To throw is Ryan. And it's complete. Hooper. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Get his three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, here's Freeman. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. So the sack pushes him back and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Throwing now is Ryan. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it's all up to the other Matty Ice. Matt Bryant now. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it's all up to the other Matty Ice. Matt Bryant now. This will be from 53 for the win. This looks good. It is good. He hits it from 53 yards out. And the Falcons are going to win the game. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there and asked for some help. Like, guys, we just don't have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. They said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.